Roidy started off his day by grinding out some mining levels so he could complete Lunar Diplomacy, which I believe makes him the second farmer to get Lunar Diplomacy done. And afterwards, he went ahead and did Dream Mentor as well, which is something I need to do myself. I was, I was afraid of doing the boss fights right after I did Lunar Diplomacy, but now that I'm a bit higher level, I probably should get this done as well. But uh, yeah, there is Dream Mentor done for Roidy as well. And it would appear today was National Do Lunar Diplomacy Day because Paul did the quest as well. You know, I actually don't know if Paul or Roidy did it first. I just opened Roidy's VOD first, so you know what? Honestly, I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Maybe Paul was the second farmer to finish Lunar Diplomacy. I'm not sure. And a common theme going here, Paul also did Dream Mentor as well. You know, I swear there was another episode of the Farmers V2 where Roydy and Paul did the same quest on the same day, but I can't remember what it was. But yeah, that's Lunar Diplomacy and Dream Mentor done for both Paul and Roydy now. Nice, uh, nice rings, man. Very nice <laughs> rings. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hell we yeah, got, dude. Uh, the whole time, cool. my chat was just like, Paul's going to be pissed tomorrow. <laughs> No, that's so much yeah. better, man. Like, that's less time we need to spend there in the in the near term. That's great. I mean, that's true. Because... That's what I said, too. I was like, yeah, as long as we get the rings, it doesn't really matter who gets them. Exactly. You know? As long as yep. it's done. So now our yesterday command looks like we had, like, a big group DK session, mm -hmm. when in reality, it was just Mammal getting the rings and Paul wasting his day. <laughs> hey, I got Dragon Axis, okay? That counts. You're going to be damn happy about that when you get 61. Leave me a voice Jordan, did you have any more sand in the uh the sand pit or have you paid for all of that um so i took some out yesterday but i think i have another like four thousand in there that i lacked the buckets for okay i'll uh maybe after this task i'll bankroll that one for you so you can pull those out if you want to i i mean i can pay for it i think i just didn't have the buckets so yeah uh, i know i need to get my 70 done as well and i can super glass make two now Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, I think when I'm done making what I'm making right now, I should have like 5,000 molten glass, which is... What level are you right Damn. now? Uh, 61. That's probably enough to get you to 70, to be fair, I would think. Um, I guess let's we see. can see. I'm, I'm, I'm at 330. No, it would not be. Yeah, it, it wouldn't quite be there. Uh, 737k for level 70. I'm at 331 right 8, now. 8k-ish to get so, 700. Yeah, 406k XP needed, 55 XP of pop, so 7.4k. Alrighty, I will get that done today then. But I saw that there's an insane amount of giant seaweed right now. Yeah, we have a surplus of seaweed. The sand is lacking for once. Yeah, I got like 500 for you. It's so you make glass at the Ferrex Enclave Bank, and you just... So I met the cutest Iron Man at, uh, at Blood Bells. Leave the pouch open. And uh, we had a, a chat for a while. He's got a pretty decent Iron Man account. You know, he's like, he's like 99, like fishing, thieving, hunter, or something else, right? Uh, but he's in like a rune med helm, you know, full rune armor with a torso killing blood belt with prey melee. Um, so I talked to him for a bit and now, you know, I, I left and he actually messaged me and was like, you know, hey, uh, you know, good luck. Good luck in the future. I'm like, thanks, dude. You too. And he, he just messaged me like with without saying anything for 45 minutes. And he goes, wait, are you in Farmers V2? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Man, I love that. He said he just saw a video. There's no way. I love that. Yeah. The other day in an LMS game, I think it might have even been after the stream or something. No, it was definitely on stream. I was fighting somebody, or we were about to fight. It was like the 10 second countdown. And he's like, oh my God, Mr. Mammal. And I'm like, yes, it is I, <laughs> Mr. Mammal. And then hold, destroyed him. Hold the phone, boys. Gosh, Mammal's a savage at PvP. I actually, he so there was, me, though. there was a, a dead man mode where somebody got like top 16 and they were named L. Ron Mammal. Oh, I remember and, that. And people were like, wow, Mammal, you're really good. And I was like, you're goddamn yep. right. Yep. You know, the scariest part about going up into the dead man finals, though, is because even if you beat 1013, you then have to face him four more times on other people's computers. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I just killed this guy. So you're saying I cast Molten Glass Make, and when I pick it up, it's just gonna go straight in the looting bag. Oh my. Oh. That's so weird, but I'm not in the wilderness. That, that's weird that they made the Ferox Enclave work that way. But that is, uh, that's, that's good to know. That's pretty cool. Okay, an update on the glass. I took all of my buckets of sand out, and I did the spell. 
I have 70 crafting banked, and there is 10.6k glass in the storage. Holy shit. What? So God, get damn. to blowing! Yes, sir. I'm yoinking that. Keg of beer. That's what I need, man. Right in the middle of my Dagonoth task, just get piss hammered. Okay, I, I have to do this. I have to do this. My chat is telling me that drinking this keg of beer is a negative 65 attack. <laughs> Bruh. My character's just... Come here. Yeah, give me your Dagonoth, Rex. Come here. <laughs> With the help of my chat, I did actually remember, now that I don't have a Slayer task, I need to get this task from Shaldar for the Lumbridge Mediums. I'm praying it'll actually be decent enough to do. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Uh, but that should be the Lumbridge Mediums done, yeah? Indeed, there is Lumbridge Mediums. I'll go grab my new ring and yeah, I'm, for a farmer. I'm skipping that. Surely a casket here. Okay, anything good. How many points to go on mediums? Uh, I think this should be the only thing I have to do. Oh shit. Oh wow. Whoa! Uh. Did you do some Tempros today? Yeah, I don't, yeah. Uh, a little bit, yeah. I did the firefighter and then there's like two or three gimmies. We're clogging, nice. I guess. Yeah, another one. Holy cow, man. Slow it down. Yeah, I feel like at the moment... The farmers are pretty much all just doing slayers. <laughs> uh, we're at that point of the grind where we gotta level up. Yep, That's it's, the play. it's just gotta be done. It's just business. Uh, I think my hottest pet take is that the bloodhound is meh. Listen to me. You can literally have a bloodhound in real life. You can't have Krill fucking suits are off in real life, okay? You can have a bloodhound in real life, man. Jellies in the Catacombs of Korend. That is officially going to be my first burst task. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, three Brimmy Keys to open. Four Snap Seeds. That's well good. Iron Ore and... Okay, fuck off. <laughs> that's so rare, I don't want that. Go on. Give us a piece. Yeah! Fashion Scape! <laughs> Let's go. Jordan, I was told that your your cat yawned and you did the thing, which is say big yawn. I did. And uh, we were having a discussion, you know, last week cuz like as as a dog owner for like 10 years and you know, cat owner before that obviously. Uh that's definitely something you do. Big yawn, big stretch, whatever else. Yep, but yep. I was talking last week about how that transfers over when you have a child. Oh, really? Does it? Yeah, you do big yawn for <laughs> yawns. Uh, big stretch when they wake up from a nap. Uh, <laughs> if they if they bounce up and down, you either have to say bouncy, bouncy, bounce or dance, dance, dance or something <laughs> like that. It's like the same thing, man. Yeah. I love that. That's so wholesome. My, uh, my brother said babies are like dogs in that they will seize any opportunity to do the absolute grossest thing they possibly can in any scenario. And when they do something funny but bad... Like, my, my my niece did something, like, silly at the dinner table or something, but it was really funny. And it started snickering, like, no, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, she'll do yeah, it again. You can't, <laughs> it. Yep. you can't enable. It's the hardest part. We have, uh, you know, video monitors and stuff. And when she was, like, uh, I don't know, she might have been, like, three or four weeks old. Um, We had the video monitor, like, laying pretty close next to her. Like, outside of the, uh, what was it, like, a side sleep or something, but, you know kind of like horizontal to her face almost. And it was about a foot away from her. And she was napping and then just out of nowhere, her face turns towards it and she just projectile vomits all over the camera. <laughs> oh, and it's like the funniest God. looking thing to see from that perspective. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so this might seem a bit random, but it's been on my to-do list for quite a while. Uh, before I go burst these jellies, I'm gonna need to get on the ancient spellbook, right? Well, ever since I've, uh, you know, finished Desert Treasure, I've been running north from Temporos, and I think it's about time that I do Inakra's Lament to get the Camulet Telly, because that'll save me a lot of time in the long run. That is a camel. Fun fact there, at the end of Inakra's Lament, the Majharat, of which there are two that you see, are not graphically updated along the time that they updated the uh, ones with the new quest. Good. They're still small. 
I like that they left it alone for the sake of this quest alone. Just feels right. No, they just forgot about it. I mean, yeah, they I, 100% yeah, forgot. Yeah. Whoa. Turns out it was a camel man thing all along. Who would have thunk it? Okay. I literally just built that wall, man. What the hell? I just... You know how hard I worked on that wall? You just blew it up? And you teleported anyway. Why just blow up the wall, man? You just teleported in. That's pretty toxic. In all honesty, I imagine this quest is actually incredibly important for, like, the lore of this game. You know? As, as, as much as we all space bar and whatever, like, that's actually a... Actually, a pretty important quest, I'm sure, story-wise. Uh, 69 crafting, 51 oh, fire making. Very nice. But most importantly, we can now teleport to the temple to change to okay. uh, ancients. After buying all those buckets of sand, my cash stack was down tremendously, and I needed a few more death runes before I could go do my uh, jellies task. So, played a few games of LMS. Sit. Sit. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? You're already dead, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and it looks like the last person is not a hider. Never mind, there he is. <laughs> oh god oh god <laughs> what happened Mel? what happened uh i i i just killed that guy i don't i don't know i'm not really sure what the words oh were my, I, is, are you okay i i ended that man's <laughs> career <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I, I killed that guy in the video game Old School RuneScape. There you go. Oh, good lord. There you go. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I killed this guy, but I don't know what to do. I like to believe I'd be one of Mammal's first calls if he was looking for some tips and tricks after killing somebody. Not that I really have any advice. I just like to think I'm a homie <laughs> like that. You do seem like the kind of guy that would have, like, a guy, you know, oh, hey, I, I, I got this guy, give him a call. <laughs> oh, I forgot these things drop chaos and death runes, that'll be nice. Help cover the rune cost of these things a bit. With respect to the one missing stamina potion, Mammal, I think it's gonna go a little something like this. Either A, you stole it, B, you stole it, or C, you stole it. <laughs> I can check my bank if you really want, but instead no, no. I think <laughs> I'd rather you starve. <laughs> you ate my only candy bar. If I was the mom, this would be kind of shocked. <laughs> oh, very nice. There is level 60 Slayer. I believe that is Aberrant Specters, if I remember correctly, which at my stage of an account is great. Love all the herb drops. Okay, we have a hard casket mid jelly task. I could really use some alk money. That is definitely some alk money. We'll take that. Uh, why in the Gob Wars dungeon? Why? I want to do Blood Veld, but not there. The Ogre Enclave, I guess. I need the bones, so we'll make we'll make work. Well, yeah, that's not too far of a run, is it? 79 strength. That is fine. I mean, uh, uh, I don't like it, but it's fine. And we have six keys to open. Surely something good. Okay, crafting XP. Dragon arrow tips, not good yet. Ah, there's some high elk money. More crafting XP. Oh, wee! Talk to me, Kodar. Fucking talk to me. I, I like that. It's a toy. Okay, yeah. You know, torso seeds used to be so expensive, and now they are literally dirt cheap. Let's see what's in the casket. Uh, I mean, <laughs> cool, I guess. It's a collection log, sure. I'll take that. Magic combo, no way.
After his Skatizo kill of the day, Roydy noticed that he really wasn't very far off of the medium combat achievement diaries, and so that was a big goal of his. Uh, if you don't know, the medium combat achievement diaries are great to get done ASAP, because wearing the medium tier Gommel's hilt will make it so your prayer doesn't get drained by the flashing heads at Barrows, and that makes a really big difference. Nice. Provided you with one of our more modest ancient sword hilts, you'll have an easier time obtaining medium clues, increased max quantities offered when given boss slayer tasks, bonus tokens from the warrior guild, and two extra commendation points from each pest control game, which is pretty huge. Additionally, equipping one of my sword hilts at the barrows will prevent your prayer points from being drained, and your dwarf, dwarf multi cannon can now hold five extra balls. Terrific. Give me that 10k XP drop, damn. Roydy had yet another big goal planned for the day. He wanted to get the very first POH pool in his house. Now, the reason we decided we wanted to we wanted Roydy to focus on construction is because he probably has the most overlap of schedules of all of us. He doesn't start super early in the day, but he doesn't start super late either. And if you're unaware, group Iron Men can use each other's POHs. So by Roydy focusing on getting the POH pool first, I would say most of the team will get the most utility out of it. Well, in order to get the uh, the first POH pool, you only need level 70, so you can boost up from level 63. The Superior Garden. Erected. Study is there. The finest mahogany eagle lectern from which we can finally make house tabs for the team. Just like that. Kaboom. The stamina pool is a go. That is honestly pretty huge. I feel like that is the first point in which a new account stops feeling super new is when you get these big POH upgrades. So it's all coming together. Now, I don't have any clips of this because she did it off stream, but I wanted to give an update on Denise's stats. So she kind of started off with the farmers as being the food supplier, and she did that. And now she has also got her smithing level all the way up to level 73. We've been putting our extra, like, iron ore, mithril ore, coal and stuff in the storage. And she's been making it into bars at Blast Furnace and then taking it to the, uh... Uh, the Giant's Foundry. Now, 73 smithing, I, it, I swear it's not just the meme number. 73 smithing is a very big level because that allows her to smith adamant bolts. Now, at some point here, uh, because Curtis's range level is damn near 90, it probably isn't going to be that much longer until Curtis starts doing Zolra. And when he does, he's going to want Diamond E's. So the fact that Denise can smith adamant bolts is going to be really huge for PVM. And of course, while editing this video, the Sand Crab Massacre has continued, and we are coming up on a very big level. There is level 80 strength, as well as 96 combat. Oh, maybe we're feeling strong. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon.